Hello friends. Now we have got our tutorials. Collecting nouns. You know what collecting nouns is? You, as a, you, you consider a group as a unit. Then that becomes, say example, you say crowd. 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 So then what happens is, you find the large number of people. There is an accident. Then you can see, large number of people, they come and stand around. You call them, you call them collectively. That means together you call them. Collectively means together. Together you call them a crowd. A crowd you say. Isn't it? There is another way to express that. How will you say? Otherwise, we can say a mob. Yes. We can also say a mob. A crowd or a mob. Isn't it? So this is how you say. Large number of people, they are coming and looking like some of them are taking selfie. This is a very bad thing now when there is an accident there. It's a crowd, sir. Or a group, you can say. A group. <coughs> you find cattle. Large numbers they are moving sometimes, you will find. <coughs> On the road, you sometimes find. So you call them large number of cattle, but you call them by one name, one word. What is that word, you know? Herd. <coughs> herd. A herd. Then it's a herd of cattle. That is herd of cattle. Crowd of people. See, a mob. A mob, mob of people we don't say is a mob. <coughs> Understand? Then you find a sheep. Large numbers you will find sometimes. So you call them a flock. A flock. Flock of sheep. Isn't it? Right? Other sometimes you will find large number of soldiers moving. During the election time you must have seen them. No? They are coming in large numbers. So you call them, there is a name for that, regiment. Regiment. A regiment of soldiers. A regiment of soldiers. A flock of sheep. A herd of cat. A regiment of sheep. A mob, like that. Or he finds people, conventions, religious conventions you have seen. So large number of people they are playing like this. And they are shouting like this, and dancing and so on. So you call them a congregation. A congregation of worshippers. Congregation of worshippers. They are worshipping. A congregation of worshippers. Sometimes you will find, you know, in river or even uh, near the seashore, you will find a huge number of fish. You call them a shoal of fish. A shoal of fish. And you call this, what do you call this? Collective nouns. Why it is called collective now? Because as a group you give a name. As a group you give a name. Understand? So it's a collective. Collection of things. Now, sometimes the question comes, when you think many now, so should you consider this as singular or plural? Normally, normally, yes, sir. No? You consider the mass singular. Why? Because you look at the mass a single unit. A single unit. So it is singular. We will say like this a crowd is shouting. Oh, everybody is shouting. A mob is throwing stones. We say a herd of cattle is moving across the road. A flock of sheep is is part of the, the eating grass. We get so. A flock of sheep, all of them, they are eating grass. A regiment of soldiers is marching. 
इस माचे एक ओन कृष्णा वशिपेश इस शाउटिंग एट द टॉप ऑफ देयर वॉइस अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज शोइंग ओ गॉड 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 एंड देन ए शॉल ऑफ फिश इस crossing the shallow zone of the river shallow means not deep of the river in this way everything is 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 so don't get confused when you say this the flock of too many so we have seen now singular is one and plural is more than one so when you say oh number of them is plural no because you consider them as a Unit, single unit. Listen, so it is singular, right? Now another is okay. Then I will write it on the board for you. So since it is a, um, you consider it as a unit, a single unit that is singular. He said like that. A a flock of sheep. A flock of is a flock of sheep is grazing grazing so this a herd of cattle a herd of cattle is crossing the road Crossing the road like this. Herd of cattle crossing. A crowd of people. A crowd of people is crying. Is crying. Somebody was must have told them that <laughs> some terrible thing is going to happen. That everybody is crying like that. So I think it is clear. But on the other hand, slight difference. If you consider them as different, pe different people, the context, you know, depending on the context. If I say, I'll say like this: a, a. What do you want to say? A congregation of worshippers. A congregation. a congregation of worshipers worshipers is shouting at the top of their voice but you have a sentence like this a a congregation of worshipers worshipers are asked to leave by uh, various gates various gates of the ground so then what does that mean See, I've got a. See, suppose this is the ground where the worshippers are there. Here is a gate. Here is another gate. Here is another gate. Here is another gate. So the worshippers are here. So they are asked to leave by various gates because one gate will not hold them. It's not enough. So what will be? Some will go this way. Some will go this way. Some will go this way. Some will go this. Way. So there, what happens is congregation we are looking at them as separate groups. Listen, this congregation looking at separate groups. So you have to say a congregation of worshippers are not is asked but are asked plural. When you think the, the the collective is not a single unit but difference, then you have to use 
the verb should be plural verb, like here. First sentence we can see, a conversational verb should be is shouting. Second sentence, a conversational verb should be sa. Or the conversational, now if you want to simplify the sentence, second sentence, I will give Mr. Pasi answer. A, a, con a congregation of worshippers, a congregation of, of worshippers are living, are living by uh, different gates, different gates of the ground. So, as I told you already, if this is the ground, it has got different gates. Here another gate, another gate. So the congregation is here. Some of them move here, some of them here, some of them here. <laughs> so what happens is, you don't consider them as a single unit. But well, there are many gates. So there we go. One to the southern gate, one northern gate, one eastern gate, one western gate. There. So there are groups. Or they are moving you now in different directions. So you have to use plural. That's why first when a crowd of people, a conversation worship is a conversation worship is R. Right. So another example. Give me one more example. So what is the point? 99.9% of .9 cases you can be rest assured that collective nouns are singular. Sure. But depends on the meaning. Is it that? So he is lifting a group of things in a basket. A group of things. So a group of things. A group of things in a basket. In a basket. He is taken to taken to the market. So here the is. Listen. Now suppose you think a group of things differently. See that? A group of things are shared by different people. Listen. A group of things group of things are shared. So here it is plural. By different people. Different people. So, <laughs> sorry. Different people. Understand? Here, group of things, but small group is small group is some, something, there's something. So they are waiting. So I have taken a group of things, but separate. Are, are shared, not is shared. You cannot share, <coughs> you cannot share now with different people, you cannot. You have to have small quantities. So the unit, within units, there's a whole thing is a unit, but you have small units. So different the other thing, right? So in that case, you have to use a clear, yes? So I think, for once and for all, we are going to settle this question of collective nouns, whether singular or plural. They are singular. If you consider them as one unit, difference? No, they are plural. You say like this. Ah, another example. You have a, a head of cattle. Yes. A herd of cattle, herd of cattle is grazing, grazing you know, eating, eating, uh, eating grass, yes. grazing on the meadow, green meadow. Now you are supposed to say, a herd of cattle, a herd of cattle, Running, running hither and thither means here and there. That is an old form. 
hither and thither. That means running uh, this way and that way. So how, what will you use? A head of cattle is running hither and thither? Different directions? Because they are, they are not unit. The unity is gone. So what have you to do? You have to say head of cattle. Ah. Are running hither and thither. Here and there. Yes. Or different directions. In different directions. Yes. Is that clear? I hope it is clear. So tomorrow, I mean, soon you will have an exercise. Then things will be clearer. And after that, you will be clearest. Super ready. So till then, bye. Have a nice time. Enjoy. This grammar classes was grammar. One advantage of grammar is that once you learn grammar, it is always with you. Doesn't change. So it is. It is a permanent pressure. So start loving grammar, learning grammar, use correct language, and become become fluent in language. English language. We are doing English language. Okay, bye.